So creating the album, I felt like it was a very big experience of mine, especially like, it was just, it was super dope for the album because it was almost like everything that I went through over the span of all of my high school career until now, just created all these different stories that I was able to share throughout the album. Stories that my friends went through, stories that I saw other people go through. And it was just all about putting that together, compiling it, and kind of just expressing my youth. I knew, I told myself though, I told myself when the album would come out, my life would change forever. So far, my life has been changing rapidly. I can't even keep up with it sometimes, but it's, it's dope, it's a really good experience. So I felt like the first step of creating the album, I kind of had to have an introduction to who I was as an individual. And I was like, you know what? I'm an American teen. I actually tried to like remove myself and listen to the album. I'm like, okay, don't listen, don't listen to it as you as the artist, listen to it as you as the listener. And I kind of have to remind myself, okay, since it's your body of work, don't be too hard on yourself. And 18 was my favorite. I was like, I don't know, I'm weird sometimes. Like I put my earphones on and I just I start dancing, I start vibing and I end up having a good time with myself. <laughs> I feel like what I really do, I try to keep my music almost to be my true identity. Like the self that I'm vulnerable expressing because I keep a lot of myself inside and when I'm able to creatively express that, it's like I'm letting all of this just in, all of this energy out. So the song location, it means so much to me because I feel like that was the first step of me finding my true self as an artist. I felt like everything before then was just kind of, they were like templates and they were trials. And some of those trials did well, but location was, was the, the big baby that I crafted and released to the world and just exploded. And the good thing about that song is I actually wrote it around my senior year of my senior year prom towards someone and they didn't accept it. I felt like we were just talking on the internet a lot and I kind of wanted to connect with them in real life more. And, you know, that happens. <laughs> but I went prom king and I won with the song. And now the song is just going crazy like a year later. And without that song, I don't feel like I'd be in the position that I am right now. So one song that I feel like the average American teen should listen to on the album has to be Young, Dumb and Broke. Because I just feel like it's just anthematic. It's like, you know what, I'm young, I'm dumb, I'm broke, but I still got love to give. And it doesn't matter what you have. It's all about just taking the, the moment of high school and running with it because I feel like so many people just get so tied up and things that don't really matter. And it was kind of just me being like, you know what? I, I don't even care anymore. Like, I don't care about my schoolwork. Like, I don't care about these relationships. Like, I'm just, I got so much love to give. I'm just ready to get out of here. I'm a big fan of like 90s girl groups. Like, I love Destiny's Child. Like, I love SWV, En Vogue, all of that, because my mom, that's what my mom listened to in the house. Father John Misty, he's so dope. I really look to him for songwriting. He's just super amazing. Another songwriter that I really love is Frank Ocean. He's just the way that he expresses things throughout all the words and melodies is just amazing. Um, another artist that I'm really fond of and that I really like his inspiration to me is Sade. She's just so soulful and it's almost like she's nurturing you through the music. And that's everything that I want to do. A last one, let me think. My mom, my mom sings, and she sings in the army. Well, she just retired. She just retired, so she's out, but she still sings. And she really raised me to just accept music for what it is and just to learn things throughout music and to always keep it within your life. And she's hands down probably my biggest influence when it comes to music.